Well, I know why they call this bee balm. There are so many bees and so many different varieties of bees. I recommend this bee balm for anyone's garden, especially if you want to increase your pollinators. There are just hundreds of bees on here all the time and all different varieties. It's so fascinating to just sit and watch it and see the different types that come to sip a little nectar from it. But if you're gonna plant bee balm, just be aware that it's going to get very, very big. <laughs> so don't plant it in the squares of the cinder block. <laughs> Plant it somewhere where it can grow. My green beans are giving me another show, so that's nice. And I got my first zucchini rampancante. This is gonna be dinner. And the fun thing about that, this is the seeds this is all fruit you can eat. And then the seeds are right down here. So I'm definitely gonna save them this year for sure and dry them because this is kind of hard to come by in seed companies right now. So yeah, yum. Oh, it's a little baby watermelon. <laughs> yeah. This is our accidental watermelon patch. We'll take it. How many do you have so far? Okay. My small step this morning was harvesting the garlic out of this bed. It was such a puny harvest, meaning the bulb just didn't bulb up very much. Um, I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know whether I, it was the variety I used or it was a really mild winter and I know garlic likes a certain amount of chill hours. So I'm not really sure, but I kept watering it and hoping it would, it would grow and bulb up some more. And it never really did, so. I harvested them this morning and they were somewhere a little bit bigger. That's one of the bigger ones. But then our elephant garlic kind of made up for that. <laughs> Love that elephant garlic. It's really fun. And let me show you something about elephant garlic. Elephant garlic leaves behind these little seeds off of it, off of the edge of it. And these turn into more garlic. So they're kind of hard. I don't think you could use them like in cooking, they're very hard, but it kind of reseeds itself in this manner. So that's kind of fun. But wherever you put elephant garlic in your garden, you'll probably have it there forever. <laughs> but I embrace it. I'm okay with that. All right. So my st small step for tonight is to plant another super, a summer superstar in the garden. And that is, ta-da, eggplant. Yum. <laughs> I am not terribly fond of eggplant, but I am learning from you guys. Last year you had a lot of good suggestions and I tried out some new recipes. So thank you very much. I'm embracing the eggplant. <laughs> I'm gonna get busy. The next summer superstar I'm gonna plant tonight is Egyptian spinach or Molukahaya. Got it from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds, although I don't think they sell it anymore. Um, I will try to leave a link if I can find it somewhere for you guys. And I'll also leave a link to a video where I show it full grown. It is really a good summer green. The favorite thing we like to do with it is put it in smoothies for some nutrition. And then we like to saute it in egg dishes and things like that. It's kind of a flat green, so it's not the best for sal. You know, it's not like a salad, but it does really add nutrition to our summer, our summer food. Since in Dallas, Texas, is is warm here, we're not getting lettuce, we're not getting spinach, we're not getting those greens that we need. So this is one substitute for that. Egyptian spinach is such a beast. I mean, it's as tall as I am. 
that I don't even bother to put it in the garden bed and it has such a deep tap root so it does really good in drought conditions so I just move away the mulch and put it in between these two beds right by my back fence Now all I have to do is keep that moist and wait. If you grow Egyptian spinach yourself, you'll never run out of seed. <laughs> the last fun thing I get to do tonight in my small step is to plant some marigolds. Um, some people say they ward off pests, certain pests, garden pests, but that really hasn't been my experience. Uh, but I just really think they're beautiful and sunny and fun. So I'm going to put them in these square cinder blocks in the opening along here so we can have some beautiful orange and yellow flowers in the garden. I hope you guys are having some great small steps morning and night in your garden and I hope that is less overwhelming to you than trying to think of doing it all at once or doing it in one big chunk of time. Okay, good night you guys. See you tomorrow morning. Looking for candy in the garden, right Eli? Take off the wrapper. Yum. So good. <laughs> How do you know when they're ready to eat? Whenever uh, uh, the wrapper is brown, you can pick them off, or you can just find them on, laying on the ground. Under the bush? Yeah. Okay.